so uh, you know i will give you a choice to choose between micro plus macro or maths plus stats and based on what you choose i will give you a question i will give you 15 minutes to attempt the question and then see what you have attempted and we'll see the solution to it is it clear okay. Okay. so which subject you would you want to go for yeah, would it be micro. Uh, micro plus macro okay, okay great so the question to you is let us go ahead and uh, draw a convex reference relation that is locally non satiated but is not monotone i repeat but not monotone but not monotone draw a convex preference it should be convex draw a convex okay. reference relation that is locally non satiated but is not monotone i give you okay. two minutes to solve this question is this the mean function uh, minimum of x comma y okay Because but wouldn't it be monotone uh mam only uh, in the diagonal way because uh, even if i for a uh, because even if y is says 3 and i keep on increasing x my uh, it won't be weakly monotone i mean uh, you will be the same okay so uh, y is 3 and x is uh, greater than 3 for all so 4 5 6 uh, it's, it, you will still be the same okay so, but would it be a convex relationship yes ma'am because uh, as per the definition of uh, ma'am can i show my copy to you yes sure ma'am a mean function uh, is like this okay so uh, as per the definition of uh, a convex uh, uh, the, the that is uh, if i consider two points this point and this point uh, any point that is f theta of uh, x1 plus 1 minus theta of x2 it will be uh, less than uh, theta f of x1 plus 1 minus theta f of x2 means it will be convex uh, because it still obeys the definition i mean if it is it might not be a smooth one but as per definition it <coughs> it's a convex function okay and how do you prove for local non satiation ma'am what is that means if you can tell it's local non satiation so local non satiation means you take a point very very close to any point and that point okay. should be preferred over that the initial point so i take a point b very very close to a and i prove that b is preferred over a Now I take a point close to it, and I uh, say that it is preferred. Yes. Okay. So uh, if I, if I draw a line through this first, and uh, just let me draw the so. So a minimum function is like this. Now uh, consider I draw a line through this because since it's a L-shaped function, everything follows this. Uh, the uh, means the optimum point uh, if the locus is this line only. So uh, if I take a point close to this point, say, say I take a point like this, I can join. this line and say that it it is an higher ic it's a higher ic okay 
Okay. Now, finally, we want to prove that it is not monotonic. I got what you're doing. So monotonic means that when I increase the consumption of one commodity, holding the other constant, it should yeah. increase my utility. Please do that. Yeah. If you move along this point, it's still mm -hmm. the same uh, on the same IC. So, so it's not uh, weakly monotonic. So it's basically uh, say I have mean function x comma y and say I have fixed uh, y at three. So even if I keep on increasing say four, five, six, whatever be the value of x, it has to be greater than uh, three, then my utility remains three only. Great. Okay. So yes, uh, sounds fine. I will also go ahead and show you what uh, I see I could think of. 